Hello, welcome to this beautiful park in Waikiki. Look around us, got people all around. We have an intermediate 30 minute practice we get to do. Aloha. So let's come to our mat. Hang forward, hang down with your feet about hip distance apart as we start our practice off. I hope that dog in the background does not come and say hello too close to my camera. Take your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers back there. Take them off your back as far as you like here. Got a great half hour. It's partly strong and partly flexible. Release your hands down. Roll up to standing. Put your arms up. Look up. And then fold back down to the floor from there. Let's walk it back into down dog from there. Pedal your legs out. Just bend one knee, bend the other knee. Take my necklace off. Good. And keep your heels down evenly and down dog. Let's come down to our knees. Uncurl your toes. Cat and cow. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, drop your head around your back. Inhale, arching our backs. Exhale, rounding our backs. Inhale, arch again. Exhale, round again. Inhale, arch, looking up. Exhale, round. Perfect. Arch up. Round again. And let's come back to center and neutral, and then back up into down dog from there. From down dog. Either walk or hop your feet up to your hands. Separate your feet a little wider than your mat. And keep your right hand on the floor or a block. Take that left arm up as we twist left. What a beautiful day to practice yoga together. Bring your left hand down. Take that right arm up as we twist this way. I hope one day we can do yoga in Hawaii, in person, together. That's what I'm wishing for right now. Bring that hand down to the floor. And as we take a forward bend, just hang down, and then start to roll up to standing. Lift your arms up to the ceiling or sky. Big breath in. Fold back down to the floor again. We're walking it back into down dog. Down dog, let's come forward into plank. From here, lower down, either hover or all the way to the floor. Arch your back up as much as you want. Stay here for a couple breaths. And make your way back into down dog from there. Good. And again, let's come forward into plank. Lower down as low as you want. Arch your back up as much as you want. And then back into down dog. Very nice. It is hot and humid where I am. Put that right leg up in the air. Let that left heel press down. I like to bend my right knee and open my right hip up a little bit. And step that right foot up inside your right hand. We're coming into crescent, reach your torso and arms up in crescent pose. You decide how low you sink in that right leg here. Take your hands behind your back. Open your shoulders. Maybe look up a little higher. Keep that back leg really straight. Arms reach back up to the ceiling or sky. And bring your left hand to the floor or a block. Right arm reaches up as we twist right. Bring that right hand to the floor. Step back. Let's come into plank. Lower down. As far as you want. Arch up. Make your way back into down dog from there. Left side, reach that left leg in the air. Maybe open up that hip. Maybe bend that left knee. Step that foot up inside your left hand. And we're coming into crescent pose on this side. Find a strong place. 
and a balanced place here. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, opening your shoulders up, looking up a little higher. Wondering if you're doing the same. Arms reach back up. From crescent, bring your right hand to the floor. Take that left arm up as we twist left. And I don't even know which one I like. Always have that right hand on a block throughout class. Sitting by the window. Bring your left hand down. Step that left foot back. Come into plank. Stay right here. And five push-ups, maybe from your knees. I'm taking them from my knees today. Take them as low as you want. But after that fifth push-up, sit back in child's pose, back on your heels, take a couple breaths there. Really nice start of class. Get back up to our hands and knees, back up to down dog next. Put that right leg up in the air. Bring your knee toward your nose and hold it as close as you can. Reach that leg back out. Step that foot up inside your hand. Turn that back foot down. And then reach up for warrior one. That left hip moves forward as you reach up tall. From here, warrior two, to your hips face the side of your mat. Mind face the ocean. My heart's unstable. A strong bend in your right leg. That left Every leg is straight. Straighten right that right leg now. Triangle. Bring your right hand Call down to that shin or ankle or a block. Left arm. You know it reaches up. Up, warrior two again from there. Good, and sweep your hands to the floor. Set that right foot back. We're coming to plank, lower down. Always be from your knees. Arch up as much as you want. Back to down dog. Good work on that side. And now the left side. When you're ready, take that left leg up. Bring your knee toward your nose and hold it here. Reach that leg back out in the air. Step that foot up inside your hand. Back foot down. Warrior one on this side to start. Our right hip moves forward as we bend that left leg a lot. And opening it up, warrior two, shift your hips, shift those arms, staying strong place in our lower body. Straighten that front leg, we've got triangle. <laughs> and that left hand comes down your shin or ankle as that right arm reaches up. The left hand can always be on a block as well. Back up, warrior two from there, a few more breaths. Find a strong place in that left leg. Sweep your hands to the floor. Step that left foot back, plank. Lower down again. Uncurl those toes. Hands behind our back, interlace your fingers, lift your legs and torso up. Keep your arms as straight as you can. Strong back here. Release it down from there. Let's press to our hands and knees. And to child's pose to take a few breaths off. Really good work. Back up to our hands and knees. And back into down dog from there. Keep that right leg up in the air. Bring that right knee toward your right elbow. 
reaching it back out. Step that foot up inside your hand. Crescent pose. So that back heel is lifted. I'm getting hot and humid. Put your arms up in crescent. Finding your balance. And hands at our heart. Lean out over your right leg. Stay here. And we're launching out to warrior three as we balance everything out on that right leg like this. Try to get your torso and back leg parallel to the floor. And if it's not, it's fine. It's really working on your balance more than anything else. Bring your fingertips to the floor or hands on a block. Keep that left leg can reach a little higher. Keep your neck relaxed. So good. Now step that left foot back. Crescent pose where we began. That's it. Bring your hands together at your heart. Crescent twist. Let that left tricep rest on that right thigh. Giving you lots of love. A few more breaths in crescent twist here. Try to keep that back leg really straight. down to the floor, sit that right foot back, plank, lower down, uncurl your toes, arch your back, and when you're done, back into down dog from there, so good, and that other strong side, take that left leg up, and bring your knee toward your left elbow. that leg back out, step that foot up inside your left hand, we're starting in crescent here, find that balance and strength, good, bring your hands together at your heart, lean out over your left thigh, make a little stronger, stay here, Getting out, balancing in warrior three. Everything is out on that left leg. Really good work with your equilibrium like this. You got it. Fingers to the floor or hands on a block. And as your torso moves down, that right leg reaches as high as you like here. Standing splits for a few more breaths. Step that right leg way back. Crescent where we began. Find that balance again. Hands at our heart, crescent twist to the left this time here. Good, release your hands to the floor, nice. Step your way back, down dog, and then plank. Staying in plank, one arm balance on our right arm. Roll to the outside of your right foot. Reach that left arm up. If it gets a little too hard, drop that right knee to the floor. Do the same thing, just like that. Bring your left hand down to the floor. Back into plank, then the other side as that right arm rises. Again, if you want, drop that left knee down to make it a little easier for you. Bring that right hand down, so good. Plank, and then we're lowering down. 
From here, take your hands behind your back like before. Or you can reach back and grab your feet or ankles. I'm going to do that one this time. Lift everything up as high as you can in a strong back again here. Where do I find out when everything else is falling down around me? And nothing is going my way. I'm so weak and I feel like I'm drowning. Not anything anyone saying. It's up on my inside. Release it's it down We're from there. Just to your hands and knees. That's a big surfboard behind me. Sit back in child's pose from there. Take a few breaths like this. And hands and knees. And down dog from there. Lift those hips back up in the air. You're doing great. From down dog. Walk or hop your feet up to your hands. Chair pose. Bend your legs a lot. Reach your arms out and up. Find a strong place with your whole body here. Fold it down, straighten your legs from there. Roll up to standing. Lift your arms up. We've got chair pose again. This time lift your heels up off of the mat so it's harder to balance. Working on our balance even more. My heart is aching the death of my son, why can he not be here? Well, I'ma be honest, I'm trying to be your heels down, fold forward and down again. Let's just walk it back into down dog. Right leg lifted up in the air. Then your right knee toward your left elbow. Keep it here. Reach that leg back out in the air. Step that right foot up inside your hand. Turn that back foot down. Reaching up in warrior one to start. And next, warrior two. Your hips are facing the side of your mat. Straighten that front leg. Reach your right arm up and back so our waist opens up on that right side. Both legs are straight. Back to warrior two. From here, left hand on your left hip, and we're heading out to half moon. That right hand comes down to the floor. That left arm can also reach up to the sky. Half moon here. That right hand is on the block, that's also fine. Stepping your way back into Warrior 2, great. Last, bring your right hand to the floor or a block inside that right foot. Left arm behind your back, stay right here. That left shoulder rotates up as your lower body sinks low. Release your hands to the floor. Nice. Step back into play. Lower down. Arching up. And back. Down dog again. That strong left side. Left leg reaches up first. Bring that left knee to your right elbow. Reach that leg back out. Step that foot up inside your left hand. Turn that back foot down. We're starting in warrior one from here. It is getting hot. And now warrior two from there. Straighten that front leg. Reach your left arm up and back as our waist opens up next. Back into Warrior 2. We're heading out to Half Moon. Bring your right hand on your right hip. Everything balances out on that left leg. The left hand may be on a block or your fingers are down like mine. Maybe reach your right arm up to the ceiling or sky. Balancing here. It's a hard pose.
good. We're stepping it back into Warrior 2 from there. That's it. Last, bring your left hand to the floor or a block. Your right arm goes behind your back as that right shoulder opens up as much as you like. Release your hands down to the floor. Step it to plank from here. For your knees, five push-ups as low as you want those push-ups here. And when you're done, come all the way down to your stomach from there. And turn over on your back. The hard part is over. Woohoo! High five from Hawaii to you. Come on to your back, hug your legs in, slow your breath down, and relax. We've been moving just over 20 minutes straight. The hardest parts are done. Let's come into happy baby. Reach inside your knees. Grab the outside of your feet and happy baby. Keep slowing your breath down and relaxing here. I love that you're spending time with your body to make yourself feel really, really good. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. All those things. Let's release your feet. Set your feet on the floor. And your hands behind your head or by your ears. And let's just crunch up for 30 seconds, getting into our abs. Exhaling, lifting our head up. Inhaling, bringing your head back down. Any pace you want like this, keep going here. Release your head down, bring your arms by your side, walk your heels back near your sit bones, and a back bend, lift your hips up in the air, interlace your hands under you, wiggle your shoulders under maybe as well, bridge pose, your hips are high, your knees stay parallel to your hips, your feet are hip distance apart. your hands bring your hips back down let's hug our legs in again let's rock up to sitting from there really good your legs now extend straight out in front of you they're together reach your arms up to the ceiling or sky and then fold out and down wherever your hands land my hands end up around my feet. Yours might be near your ankles or your shins. You can use a block or a strap or a towel around your feet, whatever feels best. But just relax and slow your breath down in a forward bend here. Do I look like Judas? I cannot betray you. I can never play you. Baby, you should know. body back up from there next butterfly pose. bring the soles of your feet together let your knees go wide hands are under our feet and when you're ready leading with your heart moving toward your feet bring your body as far forward as you can go your head and neck relax slow your breath way down here on our right side. So you don't you can believe your right leg again. just about like it was and take that left leg around and away. back. Right now. I come into pigeon. If you want to take figure four or I thread the needle or any other hip opener, you can. But for half a minute, just relax here. 
After that work in that first 20 minutes of class, now it comes time to embrace the rest of the day. Peaceful, heaven is a drug, you don't want to do just that. Easing your whole life to an emotional pace you down. You deserve, you deserve all the love you. Make your way to the other side. I like to go through down dog between pigeons. Whatever you'd like, whether it's pigeon or any other variation, find your starting place. And we've got half a minute just like this, relaxing again deeply here. your right leg into your body coming into a twist our left hand takes the knee left that right arm opens out to the right a couple breaths into your lower back here bring that leg back up switching sides that left leg comes in take it over to the right our left arm reaches out. Last twist. Bring that leg back up. Extend it out on the floor. We've made it to Shavasana. Congratulations after that work and effort and strength. Now we get to just rest. Take a big breath in and just hold your breath in. Sigh that breath out. After that work and effort and strength, just rest deeply, as deeply as you want these last minutes here.
slide your heels back and just gently roll to your right side and press up to sitting any position you'd like close your eyes bring your hands together at your heart after changing yourself for the better it's always physical and mental and emotional those things all change so i'm so happy for you and proud of you for doing this practice with me thank you thank you thank you aloha mahalo and even as there's incredible beauty around me it pales in comparison to how much beauty is within me and how much beauty is within you every single moment of every single day here from oahu namaste It's enough 